All right, guys, back with the second cut on the intake for the bow tie heads and the exhaust. What I did is I took this old valve that I have and I changed the shape of it. I made it more tulip like. Okay, we're going to have a good look at that. Before I pull, oh, pull it out of the chamber, though, see if you guys can see the direction of the splatters of the dicum around that chamber. Darren Morgan did a, a great video on stuff like this. You can really, you can really see it. You can really see it on on this. I mean, there are marks all the way over to here. You can see the the angle of the uh, dicum. Awesome. Okay. I can hardly see that. But we have dicum all the way to. Okay, you can see how I shaped the valve. I did put a fresh 45 on it. And I basically machined the top of the valve right down to where the back cut used to be. Actually, a little bit further than the back cut was because I don't need such a, a thick seat anymore. Okay? And it got a little swirl polishing action, and uh, not my best work. But it's going to be interesting to see. You know what's really interesting with this valve? When I did the air speeds, how much different the air speeds are due to the shape of that valve now. That's, you guys are going to like that. Okay, second cut, I did some uh, air speed changes. And it doesn't look quite as uh, much dicum on the valve. Okay. We do still have a nice wide spot on the bowl. You can actually see it goes, it goes all the way down that bowl. And I didn't notice before, but since this has such a high short side radius, it actually gets dicum on the ramp of the short side radius. Okay, you can still see we've got we've got a nice angle on on that dica as it's entering the bowl. And you can see the stuff on the uh, dica on the chamber side it's got a hard angle too. Almost the same angle as I have cut here. Isn't that interesting, guys? Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm that kind of guy. Okay, right down its throat. Can you see that on the ramp of the short side radius? We've got some dicum action. Looks good on the back of the bowl. The roof was changed just a little bit according to my air speeds. This wall on the left was changed a little bit according to my air speeds. Uh, that's basically all I did to this port since last time you've seen it. Let's take a look and see if it was a winner or a loser. Okay. Second cut. I did a little work on the short side radius. And I did a little work on the roof and that side wall. Okay. The short side radius. Got a little more area on one side according to the air speeds. Sorry, guys. On call work, guys. Sorry. All right. Where were we? Uh, same intake valve, 2055 with a back cut. Okay. How do we do with those couple little tweaks? And I, they were some relatively small tweaks. I didn't take a lot of metal out. We got plus, 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 minus, plus. This is actually better than I was would have expected because it was good at 210 and change it's 213 and change uh, 213 now plus plus one minus here because it starts to, to lose it over the short side 
And then it gets a lot better, according to what we had on this side. Plus, 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 decent amount. I don't know, only a small gain. So the short side radius still has a huge problem, but I wanted to keep it high because I like this mid-range, right? So I may... You know what I need to do? I need to CC this. Uh, it's very interesting. I took a look on Stan's site and uh, to see what other guys are getting out of the bow ties. And stock, they only flow 230 on the intake, which is what I said in my last video. And I thought they flowed like 170, 180 on the exhaust. It's like 147. Ouch. Take a look. We're getting more than 147 at 300 thousandths at this point. And that's still my old porting. That is just changing the valve job, the radius, and the shape on the valve. All right. A little off topic. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's also numbers on there from Larry Moe. He gets crazy numbers out of these. 300 plus. But he's got it cut for a 223cc port. I've seen cutaways of those ports. They are... He must have a better sonic tester than I have because uh, he gets he gets this pinch right here. You could read a newspaper through it, it's so thin. Okay, take a look at our swirl. Minus, minus, plus, 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 plus. And then as we start to have trouble with the short side radius, you get two minuses, plus, plus, plus. All right, interesting as far as the flows and the swirl, right? The smallest amount of increase, more swirl. Smallest amount of increase, more swirl. All right, smallest amount of decrease, loses swirl. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there's uh, something to it or not. Let me do our uh, pluses and minuses on the exhaust. Okay, take a quick look at the exhaust. Take a look at the huge difference in low lift flow. I think it was Gary that said, I'll take, I'll take that valve without the back cut for a win because he doesn't want this, this very high low lift flow now because you, you wind up putting you get a lot of reversion that way we don't want that now dv loves low lift flow i'm gonna have to have a conversation with him again about that uh i'm not gonna put words in his mouth that's for sure all right we had a touch of noise at 0.15 we started going up we got up 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 and then we got minuses right in the middle where we don't want minuses, but it did top out a little better. And it topped out better on all of these, but just a small amount. So I'm gonna say that that port doesn't like that tulip shape much. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, a valve like that. That's actually neck down. It doesn't have a radius, it's just a 45. We're gonna try that valve next and see the difference. Because what's really interesting is what happened to the air speeds on that exhaust. All right, take a look at your air speeds here. Really not bad, right? Let me do the pluses and minuses here. Okay, now these measurements were taken at 0.56. Take a look at them. They are all up except the bottom center, which is basically dead at 135. The rest of that port is cranking now. And it's only the slightest bit more flow than it got with the back cut. But it's got tremendously different air speeds. I mean, let's... I mean, it really went up a lot. It went from 315 to 344. That's... A huge difference. So it's something to think about anyway. Now, do we want those real high speeds or would, would we rather have it as even as we can over all the area of that port? You guys can answer that in the questions, even though we've gone over it before. You know, it's always good to review questions, right guys? 
Okay. Push rod pinch. Let's do our pluses and minuses here. Okay. Okay, take a look at our push rod pinch. Minus, minus, plus. All right, started to get a little more active on the bottom. Now, I also changed the short side radius, which would make, could make, mean it's coupling the air better, right? All right, that's what we had on the roof. 173, 136. Way more even now. Okay, and these were taken at the same, same lift point. So, all right, we had a fast side and a slow side. They're, they evened out. So, giving more area in one spot made that big a change. Okay. And we are minus plus plus. We're really fast at uh, the center. That's 0 0.56, so that's 700, 700, 278 CFM. Which is actually less than it did with the other valve, it's the 281.7. I do have to tell you though, I started this test at 82 degrees and we finished it over 90. So you definitely have to take take into consideration the temperature. That's why I always put the temperatures on all of my all of my flows. So temperature does does knock out, knock back the CFM. At least it does on my bench. Okay, what else do we have to talk about, guys? I want to finish this up because I got to get out of here. Got to go, but got to go to work. I know what I want to say. Since I haven't done the CCs yet, give me some input on those flows versus, let's say, a modern aluminum head, and uh, tell me what you think we should do. All right, guys. Like I said, I got to go to work. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.